Hey Kenwood, say Kenwood, it's your boy, Jay Russ, and I got my boy, Jose, let's go. And we're back with another Fire Comp TV episode. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Our Pledge of Allegiance. Please be seated. Today's event is cross country versus Cameroonian at 4 p.m. at French Field. And let's check out this video highlighting cross country. Camera on me, camera on three. One, two, three. Camera one! In room 109 at 12.30 today, if you're interested in seeing the national anthem, I advise you to go do it. Tomorrow, during your lunch, we'll be having a picture makeup day. Attention all students. During your lunches, the gym hallway is off limits. It's closed off during all lunches, whether you're in class or not. All Kentwood students, if you're interested in cleaning Kent or helping out, well, from 9 to 12 at Golden Steer Park, you have opportunities. Or at Christmas Park at 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. If you guys have any more questions about it, go check out the link below or call the number. Attention all juniors and seniors. If you haven't picked up your parking spaces yet, tomorrow's the last day to do so. Attention Kenwood. If you want to get involved or rewarded for being involved, well, I advise you to download the 5 Star app. Are you interested in manufacturing? And if so, there's a field trip on October 4th. Make sure to pick up the field trip forms in the Career Center. Yeah, I know it's been three years, but to all juniors, we have PSAT testing on October 16th. Students, it is Constitutional Week. And here is some history on our United States Constitution. Written in 1787, the Constitution was signed on September 17th. But it wasn't until 1788 that it was ratified by the necessary nine state. The U.S. Constitution was prepared in secret behind locked doors that were guarded by centuries. What's cooking today, Kenwood? Cheesy breadsticks with marinara sauce and seasoned JoJo's. Sounds delicious. It's your boy Jay Russ. And Jose Rodriguez. And we're out. It's, it's great, great to be alive. alive. It's great to be a conk.